Hey hey people, it's me Tristan and we're back with the wood painting the woodland Indian. I start off now with Beastie Brown uh, covering all the areas that need leather or wood. That's basically pretty much the rest of the model. If you wonder why this video was delayed so long, it's because I had a lot of work in school and also one of my good YouTube friends visited Estonia, it's Udisve, and he came with a friend of his and it, we had a really nice time and I really enjoyed uh, meeting him and it was really great. So now after finishing the browns uh, I go over with washes, dark brown wash for the wood and the mm, light brown uh, wash for or all the leathery parts they have this really different tone to them and as I paint the, the wood and the leather with the same paints it really makes a difference the wash I'm using so all the leather parts just need again another layer of beastie brown as highlights and then as top highlights I give it with leather brown and in my opinion that's all that it needs make it pop because mainly the skin and the red war paint and the contrast between black and the leathers just draws your attention. Uh, the next part I'm doing is the wood. I use leather brown to do wood grain and that's pretty much it because uh, I want the wood to look pretty specific and different. Painting muskets is pretty much the same thing as I painting a bow, except for the metal barrels I use metallic paints and black wash to just make it pop. For all the feathers and other similar pieces, bones for example, I use bone white. As you can see I've used that paint a lot of times, so the name has <laughs> uh, just worn off. I give a mid brown wash to just make it work, go over some pieces with black paint and make some details black. It's nice using black because uh, on these models I don't highlight black so it's it's a easy color to use. So again with the bone white as you can see I have a pattern of uh, painting areas it's a base color a wash again the base color and then a highlight color that's uh, pretty much what I use all around here of course I'm painting the eyes eyes are really important in my opinion I like to do eyes on all of my miniatures because uh, I somehow feel that after painting eyes I make them come up become alive that might sound weird but that's how it is so the base I just cover up with cayman green you may see that I mess up and get some paint on the shoes but I go over them behind the camera and then just give a black wash to the cayman green because after all uh, afterwards I'm just gonna cover it up with some grass and flowers Finally, we've finished with the Woodland Indian model. You might see that the base is still a bit wet and needs to dry. But once it's dried off, I will spray it with a coat of matte varnish. And then I'll add the base materials. So here's another unit I painted up earlier. And these models are also from Perry Miniatures. And I've used the same skin technique and the same way to paint the models as I just showed you. And this unit here is a good example of why I like pair miniatures. So this box has six models. In muskets and tomahawks, a maximum unit of Indians is six models. So this is perfect to get the full unit. And also one of the models is wearing this blouse or this coat or whatever and he fits perfectly into the role of the unit leader because in muskets and tomahawks if you remember 
at least uh, one of your models in the unit must be the unit leader and it should be easily recognized so I hope this helped you or inspired you or makes you just want to get into muskets and tomahawks and all I've got to say now is thank you for watching keep it safe and I'll talk to you next time <laughs>